So you've just gotten a new squishy maker, but how do you use it? I'm Dr. Squish and I've made hundreds of squishies, but since you're first starting, you are a beginner squishy maker, so let's learn what to do. Grown-ups, please read all of the instructions with your child before starting. Always make squishies on a wipeable surface and have towels nearby in case of spills. Always make the smallest size squishy first before you try the larger ones. Place the supporter with small facing up inside the squishy maker. Twist the dome counterclockwise until it's seated and then twist it clockwise until it locks into place. Pull just the neck of the squishy over the neck of the dome. Don't pull too much of the squishy over at once. Pump the squishy maker just until the squishy touches the support inside. For the small size squishy, use one scoop of squishy powder. Now you can add glitter or other add-ins, but never anything sharp. You can also add a water-based colorant if you like. Now fill the squishy maker with water and stop when it reaches the bottom of the neck of the dome. Don't overfill it. You can stir if you want with a soft rounded spoon. Never put anything metal, pointy, or sharp into the squishy. Place the stopper right at the top and be careful not to push down too far. Roll the squishy up onto the stopper. Unlock the dome and your squishy should look like this. Grown-ups, younger squishy artists will need help with this next part. Tightly hold the stopper with one hand while you twist the squishy with the other hand. Place the clip around the twist and squeeze closed. You'll know it's closed when you hear a click. Remove the stopper and gently wipe away any squishy gel. That's it! Now you have your first squishy from the Dr. Squish Squishy Maker. This is what the squishy powder looks like when water is added. It can easily be cleaned from wipeable surfaces with a towel. Don't forget you're learning, so be patient with yourself and have fun. Practice by making an empty squishy until you're comfortable with the squishy maker and the clips. Always start with the smallest size first. Never put anything sharp or pointy into the squishy. Always play on a wipeable surface and have towels nearby in case of a spill. Adult supervision and assistance may be required for younger squishy artists.